Comanicato, Mr. Roboto. Comanicato, Mr. Rotaka. Good day, boys and girls. It's another review from your beer dude, the beer guy, Corey J. Summers. Got these couple single bottles of Obsession Stout by uh, Dishunt. What? What's it called? Obsidian. No, the oh. brewer. Dishunt's. The shoots. The shoots. Now it comes from Bend, Oregon. It is a bottled condition, bottled fermented beer. It's a stout. So there's going to be a lot of coffee in it. A lot of coffee flavors, I imagine. Uh, a lot of roast. Uh. Uh. Bend, it's a 6.4, so it's not going to be nothing to take lightly, but nothing to quite, I mean, it's not something to be feared either. And with that, I go to the sniff factor. That, out of... Hundreds of reviews that never gets funny to me. It does. It does in the long run. But when I hear it, I'm like, oh, something just pierced my spine. Then his flagellants, too. Director farts during recording. Okay, look at that head. That's a good crown. I did I did pour this one at an angle. I got two of them. I did pour this one at an angle. And slow, somewhat slow. But still gave me a nice froth. Which should turn out for a good stout. Yes, coffee, like espresso. Not light coffee. Some uh, fruit. Something along the... Nothing hoppy. Nothing like grapefruit, but... Uh, something like grapes. Grapes. Okay, kind of a very cool scent, it's a very cool scent, strong and robust, but uh, very comfortable, you know, and nice, Just smells good. Palette number one. First thing that hits is the espresso. That's where I'm at right now. There is, as I said before on beers before, in the finish, in the finish, not before the finish, but in the finish, there's Carnival is a flavor. There's all kinds of weird stuff going on with the espresso throughout. Uh, let me take another palette.
Yeah, the grapes came in there. Not grapes, but just some kind of sweet fruit. Sweet, not sour or bitter. It's there, though. Okay, this is a... Okay, very, very strong in coffee. You know, me and my friend and another friend uh, were home brewing one time. I don't know a lot about brewing, but one of these guys that I was friends with knew how to home brew. And our idea was to try to make a really robust stout that didn't have the coffee flavor. It's impossible. It just comes with the nature of the the style. You know what I'm saying? We put we put Sprite in the wart. The wart is what's drained from the mash boiling. As far as I can remember. I'm not into the brewing aspect. I don't understand it. And I probably never will. It's a science. You know? Gee, see, look, I'm pouring this slow and I'm getting four inches of head. First guy complaining about four inches of head. But well, anyway, uh. Oh, shit. Oh, I. Oh, I poured yeast in there. It'll be alright. It'd just be a little bit more sour. It'd extra vitamin B. But, uh, thanks for reminding me, Director. You're about seven seconds too late. I kept pointing to it. I know. I know, I know you're, you're a cool guy. But, well, anyway, uh, where was I? Uh, I don't want to babble anyway. Uh, well, okay, so we pour Sprite. And the wart, you know what I'm saying? And it got rid of some of that. I'm looking for a good stout. A good, robust stout like this. Without that coffee. I like coffee. But, I mean, all your stouts are just coffee, 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 coffee. I'd like to experience one that was... More just the roasted barley malt. Okay, guzzle factoris. You know how to guzzle that whole thing, are you? Fuck yeah. Huh? I can do it. This beer is, for a stout, per style, very easy to drink. The coffee flavor, eh, could be backed off a little bit. I can't remember what it is right now. There was a stout that I had that was, uh, Really cool, like they were they were back in the coffee flavor, you know, and they, I was pounding them. But uh, this is a good beer. I suggest it's it's reasonable, you know, and accessible in the states. It's not an import, you know. Is this some young brewery? I don't know. It's family owned. Uh, 
uh, since 1988, so it's not that young, but not that old either. But yeah, I gotta keep going. My director is right. I'm babbling. But, uh, drink responsibly. Love your fellow man. Please be merry. That's what it's about. I say that all the time and everything, but... You can go to the bar and drink Diet Coke and still have a world of fun and maybe take a drunk chick home. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> no, no, not yet, not yet. Or, you know, just, just have fun, you know? You don't have to be merry with beer, but beer was made to be merry. They had delicious wine. Before they invented beer. It was delicious. But beer was simpler. To. Make into mass quantities. Okay I'm going too long. Director told me to keep going. Okay. You know what I'm saying though. Beer is meant to be fun. It's fun. Beer is fun. That's what it's trying to invoke is fun. You don't need beer to be to have fun, but that's what it's trying to do. Okay? No matter how sophisticated they try to make the brand, it's still fun. It's that's what they're trying to do. And with that, I say I love you all. I hope you enjoy my reviews. And goodbye.